Welcome to the 2019-2020 Honors Convocation. We are pleased to recognize our students today and uh, hope that this ceremony, although virtual, will be a meaningful way for all of us to reflect on the achievements of so many of our students. For those of you who receive awards and are not here today to pick up those awards, they will be dispersed on Friday, May 29th, two days from today, during the pickup and drop-off times for each class, 9th and 10th from 8 to 10 a.m., and 11 and 12th grades from 10 to 12 p.m. in the Lowry Circle. Please remember to thank the donors for these awards. Your notes of appreciation mean a great deal to them. Today's ceremony will be slightly different, obviously, because we don't have the audience we typically have, nor do we have the students coming up and faculty in certain cases to receive awards. We have, however, asked a number of students who are receiving the highest awards to be here today, uh, given that we are allowed to have a number of people on campus, a limited number, and they will in fact come up and receive their awards. So we're glad to have a small audience today and hope that the larger audience that will view this uh, this afternoon and, and afterwards will enjoy and appreciate our efforts to recognize everyone today. The first award is the Walter Robinson Math Award. This award, a check, was established by the Walter Robinson family to honor Walter M. Robinson Jr., MBA class of 1939, in recognition of the excellence of the MBA educational experience and the excellence of the MBA faculty. It provides a cash award to be used for faculty development by a member of the MBA math department. We proudly honor Mr. Dr. Dustin Hedmark with the 2020 Walter Robinson Award. Congratulations, Dr. Hedmark. Dr. Boyd will now come up and present the academic awards and I'll be back with other recognitions soon. So I'm very pleased to be able to announce the Brownlee O. Curry and Eugene O. Harris Scholarship Medals and the Van Banker Memorial Scholarship Awards for Outstanding Academic Achievement. These awards are given by three families, the Curry family in honor of their association with MBA and the Harris and Banker families in memory of their family members. And it's particularly uh, a good time to be appreciative for the Curry family in particular uh, with Mr. Curry having uh, passed away, having been the longest serving board member in MBA's history. So we are grateful to him and his family for these awards. The awards for English. English One, Connor Corby. English One Honours, Alex Wang. English Two, Billy Morris. English Two Honours, Adam Wang. English Three, Clay Cruz. English Three Honours, Sam Meacham. English Four, Sims Lance, English 4 AP, Aidan Barton. In foreign languages, Latin 1, Darwin Deng. Latin 2, Chase Frank. Latin 2 Honours, Alex Wang. Latin 3, Romano Banchik. Latin 3 Honours, Adam Wang. Latin 4 AP, Andrew Bulgarino. And Greek Honours, Zach Brown. For Chinese, Chinese 1, Elliot Namias, Chinese 2 Honours, William Gu, Chinese 3 Honours, Colin Tang, Chinese 4 AP, Darwin Deng, and the Chen Jiamin Award for Excellence in the Study of Chinese to Darren Hall. For German, German 1, Ryan Schmatke, German 2, Don Pierce, German 2 Honours, Penn Andrews, German 3 honors, Evan Williams, and German 4 AP, Mickey Kelly. For French, French.
French 1, Cooper Green. French 2, Kyle Tavi. French 2 Honours, Charlie Cost. French 3 Honours, Andrew Balgarino. And French 4 AP, Aidan Barton. For Spanish, Spanish 1, Andy Nunn. Spanish 2, Sam Bartholomew. Spanish 2 Honours, Reed Ragsdale. Spanish 3 Honours, Elliot Namias. Spanish AP Language, Sam Meacham. And Spanish AP Literature, Sam Kirkpatrick. For History, Ancient and Medieval History, Joseph Hastings. Modern European and World History, Max Sly. Modern European History AP, Sam Meacham. World History AP, Will Rankis. U.S. History, Ryan Schmatke. U.S. History AP, Adam Wang. U.S. Government, Owen Albright. U.S. Government AP, Sam Meacham. Comparative Government AP, Wyatt Bettis. Economics, Ben Patterson. Microeconomics AP, Matthew Hawkins. Macroeconomics AP, John Ralston Graham. Senior Seminar on the 1960s, Landon Cashwell and Senior Seminar on the 1920s, Davis Blankenship. For Mathematics, for Geometry, Roman Obanchik. For Geometry Honors, Connor Corby. For Algebra II, Denton Sensing. Algebra II Honors, Alex Wang. College Algebra and Trigonometry, Turner Kirkland. College Algebra Trigonometry Honors, Adam Wang. Calculus, Sims Lance. Statistics, Sims Lance. AP Computer Science A, Tania Ghosh. AP Statistics, Travis Swafford. AP Calculus AB, Dominic Aloko. AP Calculus BC, Matthew Hawkins. Multivariable Calculus Honors, Zach Brown. And AP Computer Science Principals, Eric Ross. For Science, Biology, Robert Carpenter. Biology Honors, Alex Wang. Biology AP, Zach Brown. Environmental Science AP, Max Baldenbacher. Chemistry, Paul McGinn. Chemistry Honors, Carter Gold. Chemistry AP, Garrett Goodrum. Human Anatomy and Physiology Honors, Andrew Robertson. Physics, C.H. Henry. Physics 1 AP, William Myers. Physics 2 AP, Roy Clavery and Physics APC, Wesley Hirschman. And for the Visual and Performing Arts, for Chorus, Henry Lee. For Big Red Rhythm, Charlie Murph. For Chamber Choir, Lee Loving. For Sinfonia, Oliver Pilkington. For Ellington Band, John Moore. For Chamber Orchestra, Nico Haraldson. For Basie Band, Landis Hall. For AP Music Theory, Jason Zhu. For Headmaster Singers, C.H. Henry. For theater, in theater arts, Charlie Cost, and in studio theater, John Jameson. And in the visual arts, for studio art one, Browning Trainer, for studio art two, Garrett Goodrum, for studio art three, Peyton Green, for studio art three, AP, John Ralston Graham, for studio art four, AP, Sims Lance, and for art history, AP, Zach Brown. That concludes the academic medals. Congratulations to all the boys who won the awards. The Rosie Pascal Art Purchase Award. This award was founded in 1988 by Dr. Douglas Pascal as a tribute to outstanding art students and was named in honor of Rosie Pascal for her love of her students and their appreciation of her. MBA purchases art pieces done by our students who have shown unusual talent. The art is represented on my right and left hand sides. This year's winners, Ike Cravens and Sims Lance. The Rhode Island School of Design Book Award is given each year in recognition of Rosie Pascal's achievement in art education. It is presented to a student who has shown superior ability in art through hard work, risk taking, and originality and who will continue his studies in art next year. This year's recipient, John Ralston Graham. The Jeffrey Button Art Scholarship Award given to an exceptional art student.
This year's recipient, Brown Payne. The Debate and Forensics Awards. First, the Debate Award given this year to Aidan Barton. The William Woods Tate Jr. Forensics Award given this year to Sam Meacham. The Zager Debate Scholarship Awards. These awards were founded in 1992 through the generosity of Stephen M. Zager, MBA class of 1976, to honor those students in MBA's debate program who have distinguished themselves through dedication to forensics and outstanding success in policy in Lincoln-Douglas debate. They are presented in honor of those debate coaches who are instrumental in Steve's own education. First, the Jane Eldridge Award to the freshman debater, Chandon Klimico. The Ann Davis White Outstanding Sophomore Debater, Asher Maxwell. The Selma Ridgeway Award for outs the Outstanding Junior Debater, Don Pierce. The Theater Awards. The James A. Poston Award for Excellence in Theater is named for beloved MBA teacher and Big Red Theater pioneer, Jim Poston. He began MBA's theater program in 1961 and directed it until 1988. This award is given to the senior theater student who throughout his MBA theater career has consistently set high standards for himself and pursued his efforts with hard work and zeal. This year's James A. Poston Award for Excellence in Theater goes to Will Mader. The Honor Thespian Award goes to the senior whose passion and dedication have distinguished his MBA theater career. As a result of his genuine love of the arts, this student has worked the most hours supporting Big Red Theater and has earned the most thespian points. This year's Honor Thespian Award goes to John Jameson. The Floyd Family Performing Arts Award is presented to the senior who excels in music or theater and plans to pursue those interests seriously after MBA at a university or conservancy, conservatory. This year's recipient, Tim Blaufus. The Tom Schulman Dramatic Writing Awards. Third prize, Will Mader for his play, Love at First Sight, a horrible play. Second prize, C.H. Henry, it was just a prank, bro. And first prize, Jack Larish, Mall Outlaws. The Rasco Bond Davis Awards for Creative Writing for this year. Third place, John Jameson for his work, Russian Roulette. Second place winner, Max Sly, The Hand of Sabazios. And first place winner, Campbell Garber for his work, The Cook's Escape. Also third place prize in Poetry, Brecken Carnute for Pioneer 10. William Rogers for DeLacy Chest, and first place, Nick Bailey, 26, 189, 328 leaves. The Jack Zager Poetry Award. Steve and Jeff Zager, classes of 76 and 79 respectively, established this poetry award for the MBA student who publishes the best poem in MBA's literary magazine, The Archives. Each year, this is presented in honor of their father, Jack Zager, who loved poetry and wrote, writes poetry, which has been published. This year's recipient, Harrison Holman. The Thomas H. Malone Jr. Award for Excellence in English Composition. This award is made possible by the MBA Alumni Association. This year's recipient, Harrison Holman. The Ewing Randall Writing Award was created by writer and friend of MBA Alice Randall in honor of her husband, David Ewing, and her father, George S. Randall. Senior English for AP students submitted essays that were judged by Ms. Randall, Dr. Kinch, Dr. Tarkington, Mr. Markham, and Mr. Joya. This year's recipient, Aidan Barton. The John B. Hayes Award for Excellence in the American Constitution. This award is presented this year to Aidan Barton. The Daughters of Founders and Patriots Award for Excellence in the Study of American History. This year's recipient, Bryson Brown. The John Moorhead Dobson Memorial Award for the Best Sports Article. 
This award was founded by Mr. and Mrs. Matt Dobson III in memory of their son John, MBA class of 1955. He went on to attend Duke University where he was very interested in sports writing. This year's recipient, Matthew Hawkins. The Professor C.B. Wallace Scholarship Award for 2020 and 2021 school year is given in honor of Professor Wallace by the Wallace Alumni Association. Mr. Wallace was headmaster of the Wallace School from 1885 to 1941. For many years, this award was presented by Mr. Joe Thompson, Wallace Class of 1937. We are pleased to present the Wallace School Award this year to Nasir Cook. The Henry A. Fitz Award for Journalism. These awards are given by the members of the MBA Class of 1949 in loving memory of Henry A. Litt Fitz, editor of The Bell. The Bell Award, this year's recipient, Roy Clavery. The Archives Award, this year's recipient, Will Coulthard. And the Bell Ringer Award, this year's recipient, John Ralston Graham. The Marsha and Virginia Fraser Award for Excellence in Chemistry, this year's winner, John Wallace. The Houston Clinic Orthopedics Book Award for Excellence in Chemistry, AP, this year's winner, Dominic Alaco. The Kirby E. and Margaret Jackson Award for Excellence in the Natural Sciences. This year's recipient, Andrew Robertson. The Tennessee Math Teachers Association Award to the senior who shows outstanding achievement in mathematics during high school years. This year's recipient, Alex Callums. The Rensselaer Math and Science Award for the outstanding junior in math and science, this year's recipient, Tanir Ghosh. Pre we now are pleased to present awards to our presidents of organizations. This year's senior class president, we're thankful for him, Grayson Hill. This year's honor council president, we're appreciative of him as well, Matthew Kaplan. This year's student council president, we're grateful for his work, Spencer Grohowski. And this year's Service Club President, we're appreciative of him as well, John Wallace. The Francis E. Carter Jr. Award for Perseverance and Achievement. This award is given to students who have offered special service to MBA and shown tremendous perseverance and success in the school community. The following students are recognized for the, these awards. Richie Akatatue, Nick Bailey, Ben Boza, Wesley Hirschman, and John Wallace. We'd also li like to recognize the Civitan Award for Citizenship and Service in the Senior Class. The award was voted on also by the Senior Class, this year's recipient, Mark Stanley. The Lawrence and Stephen Wick Big Spirit, Big Red Spirit Awards are given to the students who have shown great support, spirit, and terrific enthusiasm for the MBA community throughout their careers. This year's recipients are Richard Cummins, Spencer Grohowski, Harrison Hitt, Jaron Leisure, and Woodson Weathersby. The Wallace Latin Book Awards are given to the students who best exemplify an appreciation of Latin. These book awards are given in memory of Professor Clarence B. Wallace of the Wallace School. These awards were founded by Mr. Thel Horn, Wallace Class of 36, who drove from Michigan for years to present these awards. Wallace Book Award Level 1, Aidan Conley. Wallace Book Award Level 2, Henry Pitt. Wallace, Board, Wallace Book Award Level 3, Garrett Goodrum. Wallace Book Award 4, Scott Wallace. The Randolph College Classic Book Award is presented to an AP Latin student for his achievements in the classics. This year's recipient, Emmanuel Barrett. At this point, we would have proudly recognized those students who earned awards in the Beth and Dudley Warner International Student Exchange Program. Unfortunately, most of these programs were not able to uh, 
happen this year because of the pandemic. However, the first recipient, Andrew, Andrew Bogarino, was able to attend Eaton for their Lenten term, and I know he enjoyed that tremendously. Other students who were recognized for Winchester, Colin Smith and Scott Wallace, for Michael House in South Africa, Adam Garfinkel and Charlie Mason, for Bishop's College in South Africa, Frank Bass, for Lindisfarne College in New Zealand, Joseph Moore and James Murph, for Christ College in New Zealand, Frank Perazzini, Norris Orndorff, and Thomas Tatro, for Christ Church Grammar School in Australia, Ashwin Jane and Kenton Lewis, for the Southport School in Australia, Max Baudenbacher and Peyton Green and Luke Jackson, for the Hutchins School in Tasmania, William Rogers and Bodie Seegers, and the Albert P. Whitson Memorial Exchange Scholarship Program to Melbourne, Australia. This year's recipients were Sam Bartholomew, Alex Wang. Unfortunately, also, our, Davis, our David K. Wilson grants uh, did not happen this year, but we are certainly pleased and proud of those of you who earned those recognitions, and there are many of you. We would also like to thank the presidents of our Mothers and Fathers Clubs. I'm particularly grateful to Ms. Susan Weathersby, president of the Mothers Club, and Mr. David Koziak for their dedication to MBA and their leadership and tireless efforts on behalf of the, the whole community. We will present them with a small token of our appreciation at a later time. We're also proud of a number of our students who've had appointments or, or ROTC scholarships. Uh, Wiley Ritter has received an appointment to West Point and will be attending there. And Turner Stevens has earned an ROTC scholarship at Clemson University. Our spring athletics also did not happen for the most part uh, because of the pandemic. However, our riflery team was able to finish its season and they uh, won the state championship and we're extremely proud of them. We would also at this time recognize all of the students who have earned scholarships. We will have an insert uh, mailed to you about that, but we'd like to recognize our juniors now who uh, will uh, receive recognition for book awards. First, Bowdoin College, given to the junior demonstrating an unusual passion for inquiry, discovery, and innovative thinking. This year's recipient, Scott Wallace. George Washington University. This award is given to a junior who embodies the GW drive and spirit, specifically with their academic excellence, leadership outside the classroom, diversity of thought, and ability to put knowledge into action. This year's recipient, Wyatt Bettis. The Harvard Award, given to the student whose outstanding character and great intellectual prom pr promise evidenced by achievements and intellectual potential, broad interest, and accomp accomplishments at school and in the community. This year's recipient, Sam Meacham. The Princeton Book Award, given to an outstanding student, athlete, and citizen who is open-minded, creative, sensitive, and intellectually curious. This year's recipient, Stokes Myers. The Rhodes Book Award, given to a sophomore that has demonstrated exemplary community service efforts in addition to maintaining a superlative academic standing. This year's recipient, Charlie Kost. The Swanee Award, given to an outstanding junior excelling in scholarship, leadership, concern for others, and integrity. This year's recipient, Luke Murad. The Tulane Book Award, not for oneself, but for one's own. A current junior who embodies our motto by being a true servant leader. This year's recipient, Ethan Lilly. The Virginia Book Award given to an outstanding, well-rounded junior who has given service to the community and school. This year's recipient, Andrew Bulgarino. The Washington and Lee Book Award given to a junior who exhibits the qualities and that are exemplified by George Washington and Robert E. Lee. 
These qualities are personal integrity, academic excellence, and significant campus involvement. This year's recipient, Colin Tang. The Yale Book Award Excellence in Scholarship and High Character combined with achievement in other fields, this year's recipient, Tanir Ghosh. The Van Webb Awards for Loyalty, Friendship, and Love for MBA. Van Webb MBA Class of 2000 had a deep appreciation for his friends at MBA, a passion for literature and learning, and an excellent track and football athlete with a contagious spirit. These students are recognized for their contributions to MBA, their spirit and hard work, their supportiveness and overall influence. We proudly honor Bryson Brown, Jacob Hanai, Sam Kirkpatrick, Kieran Peterson, and Brennan Roach. The PASCO Awards for Special Contribution to MBA. These awards are named for former headmaster Dr. Douglas Pascal, a Rhodes Scholar and distinguished leader in education. These awards are given to students who have contributed to MBA in a variety of ways, particularly in the arts and academics. The recipients are Luke Boyer, Tim Bloffus, Will Mader, Mickey Kelly, and Brown Payne. The Patrick Hale Scholarship Awards. Patrick Hale, MBA class of 1992, exhibited a spirit and character that were unique and outstanding in the MBA community. Patrick had a wonderful personality that was warm, vibrant, and energetic. He expressed a zest in everything he did and proved to be a great friend to many different individuals. Patrick never failed to take advantage of life's opportunities, always sharing loyalty and passion in all his endeavors. He lived a brief life that was filled with long and meaningful memories of friendship and goodness and engagement. The school's ideal of gentlemen scholar athletes seemed woven and integrated in his life. His legacy reflects the many powerful bonds and associations among the MBA alumni. The award is given to students who best exemplify those same qualities and spirit the recipients this year are Roy Clavery, McGavick Cooper, Will Crawford, Grayson Hill, and Ben Sensing. We would now like to recognize the outstanding three sport athletes, first in the ninth grade, Marcel Reed, football, basketball, and baseball. In the 10th grade, Grayson Morgan, football, basketball, and baseball. In the 11th grade, Cole Allen, football, basketball, and lacrosse. Now we're going to take a different tack and ask individuals that are here this morning with us to come up and receive awards. First, the Garrett Fulton Memorial Scholarship Award. The Garrett Fulton Scholarship Award is given to the senior who best exemplifies Garrett's competitive athletic spirit, his loyalty and love for his friends, and his zest for experiencing life at its fullest. The Garrett Fulton Award is given to the senior who best exemplifies Garrett's competitive athletic spirit, his loyalty and love for his friends, and his zest for experiencing life to its fullest. Mr. Mark Tips will present the award. A young man of impeccable character, he is held in the highest regard by his teachers, coaches, and peers who appreciate his cheerful and enthusiastic work ethic. A true student athlete and naturally authentic leader, he is committed to service to others in the classroom and on the playing field. Selfless with his time and energy, he is a mentor to underclassmen and has organized and led club activities that are extremely popular with his fellow students. In addition to his tough academic scholar schedule, he is a fierce competitor on the baseball field where he inspires teammates with his genuine love of and commitment to the sport. He is relentless in his pursuit of excellence and personal growth. His outstanding record at MBA has earned him a place in the class of 2024 at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. We proudly award the Garrett Fulton Memorial Scholarship to Wiley Ritter. Please come forward, Riley. Let's give him a round of applause.
I'll delay it. The Russell W. Carpenter Award for Community Service. This award is given in honor of Russell W. Carpenter, MBA class of 1974, to a senior who has contributed in a significant way to the community and church or synagogue in service areas. Russell Carpenter was a wonderfully well-rounded young man who was always thinking of others. We honor and remember him with this award given to this student who has served many hours helping members of the Nashville and MBA community. We are pleased to award the 2019-2020 Russell Carpenter Award to Pete Rowlett. Please come forward, Pete. The Frank F. Drowoda Award for Humility and Compassion. Given in honor of the Honorable Frank F. Drowoda, Class of 1956, to a senior at MBA whose life and character reflect the virtues of humility and compassion. Judge Drowoda lived his life in a spirit of kindness and service and dedication to others and their care and well-being. MBA proudly honors this legacy and goodness exhibited by Judge Drowoda, who reminds us of the lines in Philippians chapter 2, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of others. This award is given anonymously in the same spirit of humility and kindness. This year's recipient, Cole Williamson. Please come forward, Cole. The Laird Smith Jr. Award for Loyalty to MBA is given in honor of Mr. Laird Smith Jr., MBA class of 1958, who served the MBA community for many years in two major capacities, Director of Development and Director of Plant Operations. This award is given to the student who best exemplifies the love and loyalty exhibited by Laird Smith for MBA. For those of you who knew Laird Smith, you just knew that he was born to be at MBA. Laird Smith never sought to be served. He was a servant. Laird never enjoyed the spotlight. He wanted the spotlight on MBA. Laird was at home, whether he was working in the alumni office or on the farm all tractor maintaining the fields. He served in nice, clean offices or in the woodshed. In all settings, he worked to make MBA better. Ever since this young man began his journey at MBA as a seventh grader, he has been one of the most kind and respectful students and classmates. He is the type of individual that always looks you in the eye and responds with a yes sir or yes ma'am. He enjoys, he's always asked questions how others are doing and shows a genuine interest in the well-being of his peers. He has made every many efforts over the past six years in supporting all of his classmates in their various endeavors. He has participated in a wide range of activities, including baseball, basketball, football, the Stock Market Club, and the Army-Navy Club. He has been a wonderful role model for future MBA students by serving as a camp counselor during the past several summers. He has also volunteered as a basketball broadcaster the past two years. He excelled in baseball, and he will continue to be playing baseball at the co collegiate level at Kenyon. He is a superb student, a kind friend, and valued member of the NBA community. We are pleased to honor Tripper Caps with the Laird Smith Award. Please come forward. Please. The Frank Andrews Book Award is given in honor of General 
Frank M. Andrews, MBA class of 1902. He played a pivotal role in the 1930s of the development of the Army Air Corps, the forerunner of today's U.S. Air Force. He commanded the General Headquarters Air Force in 1935, and most significantly was the General of our Air Force and Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Europe. Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland is named after him, as is our own Andrews Field. This award is given to the student who best exemplifies the personal, intellectual, and athletic qualities of General Andrews. This young man masks a brilliant mind with a modest demeanor. He works selflessly to better others through leadership and student government as an enthusiastic teammate and as a supporter of his classmates. Whether he is competing on the wrestling mat or football field or explicating poetry in AP English, this young man pursues his goals with serious intent while retaining a lighthearted sense of humor. No one cheers harder for his teammates' success. In turn, no one is more admired for his combination of talent, dedication, and humility. The winner of the 2019-2020 Frank Andrews Book Award for Athletic and Academic Achievement is Dan McGuire. The P.M. Estes Scholarship Awards. These awards were given by Mr. P.M. Estes in memory of his father. They are given to the students in the high school who best exhibit leadership in school and community have exemplary qualities of character and personal commitment, and show a positive influence on their peers. These students also exhibit a high level of academic, athletic, and community involvement. In the ninth grade, Chandon Climico and Henry Ribble, please come forward. In the 10th grade, Brantley Gozinski and Darren Hall, please come forward. In the 11th grade, Mauro Mastropasqua, and Miles Versa, please come forward. And in the 12th grade, Ike Cravens and Eric Russ, please come forward. Now I'm pleased to introduce first the editor of our yearbook, The Bell, Roy Clavery, who will come up to make a presentation, then followed by the president of our senior class, Grayson Hill, who will come up with Aidan Barton to make a presentation. So join me now in welcoming Roy. Mr. Malcolm Morrison joined the MBA staff in 2000, crossing the pond to teach English and theater at MBA, although his presence has extended throughout the entirety of the MBA community. Over the course of 20 years, he has inspired seniors with his enthusiastic and engaging English class, as well as introduced seventh and eighth graders to the wonder of theater. As a director, he has helped his students mature into better actors and directed spectacular plays such as Caucasian Chalk Circle, The Night of the Burning Pestle on two occasions, and The Overcoat, which he adapted with completely new staging. However, his talents are not simply confined to the stage. As a chef, Mr. Morrison has discovered numerous methods of teaching uh, simple culinary skills to students. 
whether it is a food stall at Andada, a home cooked advisory breakfast, or a meal for last Saturday supper. His dedication to the Hill extends beyond school hours, not only taking countless hours to plan the spring break trip, but also sacrificing his spring break to lead the annual London trip, on which he helps students explore the history and culture of London. With his contagious smile and charming British accent, Mr. Morrison has truly impacted the MBA students and faculty, and with his retirement, he will definitely be missed. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that the bell for 2020 is dedicated to Mr. Malcolm Morrison. Um, hello everybody, my name is Grayson Hill and I'm the senior class president. The class of 2020 is without a doubt a class to remember. Uh, COVID-19 has greatly affected all of us, but especially us seniors as we have lost the opportunity to be on campus for the last quarter of our senior year. Nobody would have guessed that we wouldn't get to spend our last days as high schoolers in person with our classmates, but if anyone could have handled it, it was the class of 2020. Since this pandemic has been such a formative experience for all of us, we thought it would be very fitting for our class to contribute to the health and well-being of future MBA classes. Thus, we will be donating a portion of our class funds to any safety precautions taken by MBA this coming fall. This will probably look like hand washing stations, masks, and other safety precautions. Hey everyone, I'm Aiden Barton, the class treasurer. Um, in addition to helping the school's efforts with um, health and COVID prevention in the fall, our grade also wanted to leave our mark on the new wellness center so that when future MBA classes um, use those facilities, they can benefit from our senior gift. So in the spirit of physical wellness, we have decided to contribute to the climbing wall that will be, that will be built on the east side of the building. Um, our class hopes that this climbing wall will be a way to remember the class of 2020 and will also enhance the experience of the, of the wellness center um, when it's used. We also, Grace and I, wanted to extend a quick word of thank you to all of the class sponsors that have helped us out. Um, we wouldn't have even been able to get off the ground with fundraising without their help. So thank you to everybody that has supported our class throughout the years. Thank you. Thank you, Grayson and Aiden. Uh, a uh, small surprise for the class uh, of 2020 is that uh, a number of our seventh grade parents came up with the idea of recognizing the class uh, through the program of Big Brothers here on the campus. And there will be a, a nice statement about the class of 2020 with all of their names listed and in recognition of the Big Brother program and, and this year's relationship between the seniors and the seventh graders. And that listing will be in the new building. And look forward to your seeing that when you come back home uh, at your uh, winter break. The Lindsay Award for the Outstanding Athlete of 2019-2020. Passion, toughness, and selflessness are all a part of the Lindsay Award. This year's recipient is a talented athlete who realized early on that ability does not equal success without hard work. He dedicated himself to improving every day. He is a leader who pushed others to work harder, not only with his words, but also with his actions on the field, in the weight room, and in the locker room. In a two-sport career filled with big plays, the little things that he was willing to do to ensure the success of this team stood out the most to his coaches and to his teammates. Sacrificing his body and eschewing the individual glory that comes from stats defined his NBA career. A captain in football, a two-time captain in lacrosse, an all-state performer, and a state champion. The 2019-2020 Lindsay Award for the Outstanding Athlete 
is Hedges Hayworth. Please come forward, Hedges. The Donald Ross Award to the Outstanding Freshman, Honest, Humble, Hardworking, and High Achieving are words that describe this year's outstanding boy in the freshman class. Elected by his classmates as an Honor Council representative the last two years, he demonstrates the highest standards of MBA's gentleman ideal. In the classroom, he's excelled by earning top marks in all four of his honors level courses. A two-year starter on the varsity wrestling team, he displays toughness and grit that defy his affable personality off the mat. This young man demonstrates the rare balance of excellence, kindness, and humility. Having essentially grown up at MBA, he has nevertheless managed to distinguish himself on campus through his own outstanding achievements. We are proud to present the Donald Ross Outstanding Freshman Award to Mac Russ. The Henry W. Boy Jr. Award to the Outstanding Sophomore. The recipient of this award consistently reflects the fundamental ideals and standards that the MBA community upholds. He is the utmost gentleman who greets others with a warm smile and kind words, making sure they know they are special to him. His honesty and discretion earn him election to the Honor Council his freshman and sophomore years. Academically, his hard work and dedication to his studies is evident by his success in a course schedule loaded with honors and AP classes. Outside the classroom, he dedicates much of his remaining time to athletics as a valued member of the basketball team. Yet he still makes time to volunteer as an officer for the African American Studies Club leadership team. With honor, athletics, scholarship, and leadership, this young man has set a very high standard. On behalf of the sophomore class and the faculty, we proudly present the Henry Boyd Award for the outstanding sophomore to Jackson Francis. Congratulations, Jackson. The Lindsay Ruth Award to the outstanding junior, positivity, enthusiasm, leadership, perseverance. These are the words that this young man's teachers, coaches, and peers use to describe him. In and out of the classroom, he is known for bringing an infectious positivity to the task at hand, leading by example and motivating his peers to be their best selves. A cum laude society member, his teachers rave about his enthusiastic pursuit of excellence that enlivens their classrooms debates and discussions. He is a smart, humble, hardworking, and conscientious student. A friend to many and respected by all, he is uniformly quick to provide a compliment to a struggling friend or a wry comment to bring humor to the moment. His adventurous spirit makes him a favorite of his classmates. A team leader and key defenseman on the hockey rink, he was injured for most of the regular season before returning in the playoffs to provide a boost to his teammates. On behalf of the junior class and the faculty, we proudly present the Lindsley Ruth Award for the Outstanding Junior to William Myers. The Gentleman Scholar Athlete Award is given in honor of the MBA ideal and in appreciation of Senator William H. Frist, class of 1970. The 2019-2020 recipient of the Gentleman Scholar Athlete Award is a near, nearly perfect embodiment of the balance which the MBA ideal celebrates. As a gentleman, he exhibits genuine warmth, good humor, 
humility, kindness, and virtue is displayed through his service on the Honor Council and as an FCA leader. As a student, he has challenged himself with a rigorous academic course load and a deep commitment to the school's music program, earning accolades as a member of the prestigious Headmaster Singers and the All Mid-State and All State Chorus. As an athlete, he became famous in the Tennessee wrestling community for his stamina, his ferocious will to win, and his team leadership, earning him the Middle Tennessee Wrestling Coaches GP West Award, which honors the area wrestler who best exhibits competitive excellence and service to his school and community. Most of all, he is a selfless leader who always puts the team and the task first and inspires all around him to aspire to the same spirit of service and sacrifice to something larger than themselves. We are proud to award the Gentleman Scholar Athlete Award to Robbie Barnes. The William Bailey Memorial Award for Honor, Integrity, and Loyalty in the Senior Class. This award is given in memory of William Winston Bailey. This award was founded by his father, Ferris Clay Bailey, grandfather of Dr. Clay Bailey, MBA faculty member since 1995. The William Bailey Award is presented each year to a member of the senior class who embodies three of the most significant pillars of the school, honor, loyalty, and integrity. This year's recipient of the Bailey Award has held so many key leadership positions in the school that rumors of collusion began before his senior year. In addition to his involvement in many facets of campus life, his academic prowess and ability to articulate intelligent opinions on the biggest issues of today, both of which started in his junior school career, resulted in faculty members believing that he was a contributing member of the debate team throughout high school, despite his never being on the team. Instead, he argued in ink, using his editor's notes over the course of two years to enlighten the MBA community, students, faculty, staff, parents, and alumni about the state of the Hill and what was on the collective mind of the student. While ushering in a new era of the bell ringer by pushing for more substantive content and by inspiring more students to contribute not to, mention, not to mention interviewing civic leaders on a podcast he started. He also served nobly as the Honor Council president, frequently reminding the student body to regard their honor above all. His mock trial accolades and cross country and track resilience don't even begin to end the story of his contributions to our beloved school, all of which make him an unsurprising winner of this award. We are proud to present the William Bailey Award for Honor, Integrity, and Loyalty in the Senior Class to Matthew Kaplan. The William Martin Award to the best all-around boy in the school is our highest honor. This medal is given in honor of William Martin, former commissioner of amateur baseball. He and his wife were very close friends of Professor and Mrs. Isaac Ball, former headmaster of NBA. The recipient of the William Martin Award embodies all of the traits that Montgomery Bell Academy hopes to imbue in its gentlemen scholar athletes. There are few people regardless of age, who bring out the best in others the way this young man does. In advisory, he is the person who asks the most insightful questions of anyone who is talking, both affirming the person he is engaging with and helping all of us to learn more about the topic or understand the background behind the story. But the impact of his actions go far beyond the advisory group, a fact that was confirmed this fall when another senior stated that he was better able to handle the workload in his AP U.S. history class because as a sophomore, 
this young man organized a shared note-taking system so that they also were able to learn from each other as well as the teacher, and in turn allowing each boy to be more fully present during classroom discussions. His curiosity has been evident in his dedication to learning French and working on the bell ringer. When he is praised for his significant role on mock trial, he is quick to credit a teammate or the coaches for the way they help him to prepare. It is his openness to everything and dedication to finding the joy in every situation that brings a smile to his face quickly and makes his laughter a regular part of his day. It is his desire to understand and his willingness to question that has enabled him to lead the NBA debate team to its national success. And it is his leadership that has helped his peers to believe that every tournament that he and his partners, partner wins is truly a victory for the entire NBA debate team. His coaches have indicated that they consider him among the greatest high school debaters of all time that no one has ever achieved as much for the NBA debate program as he has. But what is most incredible is the humble and gracious way that he conducts himself in every debate and in every interaction he has with others. His ability to understand and to value the benefits of NBA for each boy was clearly evident when he spoke to prospective families during the fall preview day. Our community is better because of his kindness, his intelligence, and his contributions to so many activities, but most importantly because of his example of how to live life to the fullest. It is with much pride and gratitude that we award the William Martin Award for the best boy in the school to Aiden Barton. That concludes NBA's Honors Convocation for the high school. I will remind you of my comment at the beginning of the program. Please pick up your awards on Friday, May 29th, during the pickup and drop-off times for each class, 9th and 10th grades from 8 to 10 a.m., and 11th and 12th grades from 10 a.m. to noon in the Lowry Circle. Again, thank you for uh, being part of today's program, those with us here in the dining hall. And of course, to all of you who have earned these awards, we congratulate you and remind you one more time to please write a note of appreciation to the donors of these awards so that they have a sense of your own appreciation for this program and, and, and their investment in MBA and you. Thanks very much. Uh, all right, another preamble to this that I wanted to do is uh, Mr. Morrison's here for another reason, but uh, early in May on a Monday, first Monday in May, we had a retirement reception for him and Mr. Norton, and Mr. Norton's going to be here tomorrow, so I'll recognize him tomorrow. But, but since Mr. Morrison's here, we typically would have given him a book of letters and a check and I have both of them with me today and I just thought you might give him a nice round of applause as I hand these to him. Thank you Mr. Morrison. <laughs>